Hello, welcome back. My name is Laura with The Life Observed. Thank you for joining me today. I have a completed journal. And if you don't want my explanation of what I used or my technique in some of this stuff um, or what I just threw together in my own words, um, fast forward it. I will leave uh, the timestamp of the flip through with just music in the description. All right, so here we go. Uh, I used fabric from Rhonda, who we exchanged happy mail. And so she gave me this fabric and this fabric I had this. Um, this is just a, um, oh my gosh, here I go again. It's just a fake leaf. And then, so this is kind of like a small little pocket. I don't know what you could put in there, but, you know, maybe a small little picture. I don't know. Sky's the limit. All right. And um, I had some s small pieces of sari silk that I took from another project. And um, so for the closure, I made an eyelet here, and then I made one over here. So that's how it works, as you can see. Okay. All right. So if you're new here, um, you will see that a lot of my journals don't have a theme to them. And that's because, um, well, one of the reasons is I like using everything <laughs> and trying to make it work. Um, I have done theme books before, and I'm probably going to do another one before... Um, I, me and a friend are doing a craft show, and so we're getting ready to do that. She's made, making some books, I'm making some books, I'm also doing some book and Bible sleeves, um, but I'm go I did do one of my f most favorite, favorite um, journals was one that I did um, with the Native American book that my grandmother had. And I put a lot of, um, I had downloaded um, some pictures of Native American women, and I just really love the way it came out. I'm going to try to reproduce that by going back <laughs> to my old videos and seeing what I did. I gave that to a dear cousin of mine, and um, yeah, so here we go. First page was a magazine page, and I just put this. 12 by 12 paper that I've had for writing. I just added, this was sitting on my desk that I printed out, Ruder Grimm. Okay. Just some nice paper. I just used some really cool paint up here, and then I used the uh, liquid pearls up here that I had. This is some fabric that I've had on hand. All this stuff is what I've had on hand. I haven't bought anything um, for this whole year. Here and there for gifts I have, but other than that, I have not. I'm using up what I have. But let me tell you, come January 1st, I'm buying stuff. <laughs> um, just made this little pocket here, this tuck pocket. Uh, this could be used as uh, for writing or for a bookmark or both. Um, use some paint. I use white gesso and then I use uh, paint, whatever I have near. Either watercolor or acrylic, I can't remember. Um, I had, I made an orange and pink journal a while back, actually last year, for my niece. And uh, so I had all this orange paper left over and I just stamped on it and then cut it out. Just fussy cut them. And this is just a small little pocket here. This is a little um, bag. And then just tucked in this gold leaf in here. Just kind of left this blank, but then added a picture. Uh, this is the Calvin and Hobbes uh, comic book paper. And just added some Enjoy Your Life. I got this from... Oh... I can't remember where I got it from, but I bought it over a year ago. Made this um, little V pocket. 
and this just stuff lying around. Okay, I made a flip out. Love this uh, kitty cat. Came from a kitty cat book. Uh, so <laughs> I had these from Creative Memories, and it's a toothbrush and a tooth. So I went online and got this um, chart of plain teeth just to like tie in. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is a Tim Holtz piece, and I just made like a pocket tuck here. Um, Tim Holtz just glued that onto this paper here, um, music paper, and I just added some of this graph paper so that you can journal on and then add whatever you wanted here. Tim Holtz piece. Uh, this is a napkin of a dragonfly. Added that. I really like the way it looks on the music paper. And this is pieces of that napkin. And then just added some white gesso. And I believe I did put, this is also uh, just plain napkin. You know, when you take the napkins apart, that's the, just the, it usually comes like in a three ply. So this is just the white napkin. Just added a really simple um, card and envelope that my friend gave me. Um, onto this screen, added a Tim Holtz piece. This is Tim Holtz, both these pieces. And then just used um, pins, bubble pin, added some extra fabric. And then I just added fabric here. And this is some, um, it's off-white acrylic paint. First I put the white gesso, then I did the this off-white color. I added some, I just had extra paper lying around and I made um, what looked like what looks like leaves and just added this from a book that I had, a book page. This is also just from a little book. So that's that. And this is actually um, a belly band here and it has the two slots. So that's one slot and then there's the second slot. Left this one blank. This is the middle signature of the first signature. Added some more fabric up at the top. Um, this is done with just some cardstock and some uh, napkin. And just kind of added a brad. If you look the right way, you can see the whole world is a garden. Right there. Just adding little spots here to journal in. And here's the other piece of the... Um, screen and I didn't add anything to this and I might add something to that but I always leave a couple things undone. <laughs> um, another flip out. This is just a paint sample and I made like a little pocket in here. This is just fabric and I just uh, cut out different fabric that I had into petals and made a flower. Okay, just used a bird stamp and made this little tuck here with some fabric and this is just from um, this is a book page that I made into a huge journaling card space and then just a um, this was a freebie and just made it into like a little card here added some tickets um, then this is a pocket and then also um, like a belly band so just added this postcard and some paper from the Love of Paper books that I've had. So that, that. Tim Holtz piece, Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz. Um, some a freebie of some stamps. Um, just made like this little note card or like to write notes on. <laughs> okay. Um, here's another one of those. Uh, paper on the other page that I have. It's basically the same thing. It's just like, oh gosh, here I go searching for stuff again. I'm trying to go fast, people. <laughs> um, this one right here. Okay. 
that's from the same book. All right, uh, Tim Holtz piece. Um, so lots of journaling. Oh, this is from my friend Rhonda. And so I'm putting it in here because I thought it would go perfect. And then just from a book page, it said end notes. I thought that was perfect. Just tuck it in here. Um, this is a piece of paper that I was using um, just as a, uh, <laughs> you know, when I'm doing sprays and stuff, I'll put a plain piece of paper and this is what it came out to look like. It's a left, the leftover. You know what I'm talking about. I can't think of the, I'm trying to go fast here. Um, so yeah, I made this, I just, uh, made this into like, I don't know, criss cross, not crisscross, but a belly band to where you can put stuff in there like this. And this is from Creative Memories. I, re I really like their paper. I'm going to go back. I have a gal that I can buy some stuff from, from her come January 1st. Um, here's the other side of that um, little baggie. I just added um, my ruffles here, a thank you card, a little tuck in here. Added some lace, my stamp, Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. This is a doily. This is one of the stickers from the Botanist Sticker Anthology book. And so this is the first signature. Look at that. It's pretty thick. So here's the next one. Um, this is just some of that Big Chief notebook paper. This came from a poster board that my daughter, that they throw out where she works. So she got, she gave a whole bunch to me. So I'm using that because it's really good cardstock. And again, this is that same concept over here. Right here. So you can put lots of stuff here. This is from the Dollar Tree I've had. I still have a whole bunch. I'm still trying to get rid of that. Here's an envelope. And that's just a little tuck spot there. Or pocket. Whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Um, my From the Heart stamp. Another sticker from the Botanist Sticker Anthology book. Um, just kept, kept this page pretty simple. Just added some lace. Um, so this is from Calvin and Hobbes. I'd say I've had a pretty good life so far. Added that and then made a journaling card out of some more Calvin and Hobbes. I've had this for a while and thought it went perfect with the colors. And there's a, um, sorry, there's a pocket or like another belly band and then a pocket here. Okay. Um, I was going to add some journaling space here, and then you can just tuck it and hide it away. I did some uh, stenciling here, and my stamp for I Know the Plans I Have for You. Left this one. Oh, what happened was the music paper is pretty thin, and it just started to come out, so I glued this piece of paper just right in there, so it's not going anywhere. So, yeah. Some more stickers, just some leftover um, background <laughs> paint right there. Um, just added some packing paper. And I don't know if you can see this. I added some really thin wire. It's really thin. It's jewelry wire. And I don't know if you can see it, but it looks pretty cool. This is a Tim Holtz piece added a sticker down here so this is the middle signature and added some more stamping added just a little tuck here journaling spots lots of journaling in here um, I just added some bubble pins with some iridescent um, I don't sequence so yeah and this is, I think this is the material paper. I don't know what. This is where, when I bought some stuff, it came in this little vellum envelope. So I made another little V pocket here, so that goes there. Some, oh, I added these really cool brads just on the corner here. 
and it looks really cool. And then I ate, added some lace to cover up the brads on this side. Tim Holtz piece. Um, again, this I this you can barely see. The brown one is like the music paper that was coming apart, so I added some more different kind of <laughs> um, music paper on top of that, and then to keep it in, I added this strip of fabric. Um, this is a napkin, and I just spread it across the whole page, and then I added this um, fabric pocket, and then added some other fabric that I had on hand, and just grunged up this piece of paper, put my coffee cup up on there, came out pretty cool. Uh, this came from the Love of Paper, so it's the matching um, note paper and then the envelope that you can put it in. So there's that. Now if I can get it back in. There we go. Okay. Why aren't you going in there? Okay. There we go. And then added a tag that matches. Just took that back in and I fussy cut these out from another piece of paper and just added that to make it all blend together. Added some strips of fabric here. Well, not strips, but squares. And then added this vellum piece just with some ribbon. Added a note card thinking of you. And then I made this, I had this really small piece of um, tissue paper and it's stronger than the regular tissue paper. And then I used that small, that same wire that's really, really thin and just wrapped it around. So it looks pretty cool. So there, just have that there. Uh, this I've had in for a while. This is Colorado's Ocean Journey um, ticket. So I tuck that right in on the other side of that envelope. And another belly band. This piece has been sitting on my desk for a very long time, and I finally used it. And then this is from a book. And then I fussy cut this out of a flower book. And it was actually one piece, but I had to cut it to make it um, look good on the page, if that makes sense. So yeah, I thought it was really cool. All right, and that's the end. Oh, this is also from um, Creative Memories. It's, a, it's supposed to be a die cut of a comb, and I just, yeah, interwove it into this paper, and it came out pretty cool. All right, so that's it. All right, guys, if you didn't totally hate this journal, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Ta-ta for now. Unless you want to just watch the version of me playing music and going through this. Bye.